Señoras y señores, les presento a nuestro nuevo manager. Hello, Ron Lincoln here, and welcome back to another rebuild. And Ulsan Hyundai are obviously South Korean, uh, but are the oldest squad in FIFA as well. So I decided let's make them the youngest squad in FIFA and rebuild them using players that start the career mode under the age of 19. No pregens, regens, not real life players, apart from our homegrown talent, which you will find out is Mikel Sanz in a minute. Uh, remember that name. Uh, but yeah, this is the squad. Yeah, not great. And very old. An average age in the squad of 29.29. And as I said, they're in South Korea normally. But yeah, yeah, I don't really want to do a rebuild uh, in the South Korean league. So I've put them in La Liga. No particular reason. Apart from why not? Um. So yeah, here we are. We will make our first under-19 signing in Jesus Vasquez, a 19-year-old Spanish left-back being brought in from Valencia. Uh, we've swapped him with Um Won Sang or something like that. Uh, and a bit of money, not much. But Jesus Vasquez is our first signing. Rating of 71. And as you can see, we've not got a goalkeeper as well. Yeah, Ludwigson's a right winger. So we're going to have to bring in a goalkeeper. But before we do that, we're bringing in Benjamin Sheshko from uh, Salzburg. Obviously, everyone knows how good Sheshko is. He's an absolute baller. Six foot three as well. He is a really good player. And hopefully, he will be even better for Ulsan Hyundai, or Hyundai, as it is now, apparently. Um, we are now signing a new youth scout, which is going to be Ismail Ponce, and there's a tiny bit of a saga in season one with him, uh, as we send him out for nine months to hopefully get good talents. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Uh, we also made some other transfers. You're just going to see these all in one. The likes of Zabarnyi, uh, a 19-year-old Ukrainian centre-back. Brought him in for under the, under his value as well, so that's a really good sign-in. Uh, Vitek, another centre-back to partner him, again, under his value. Uh, this guy is 19, from Czech Republic, 6'4". Another guy from Sparta Praha, brought in for under his value again. We are bargaining right now. Uh, and here's our goalkeeper, Dogan Alemda, coming in to the squad for 1.9 mil and a swap deal from Stad Rene. You have saw Jesus Vasquez, you have saw Benjamin Sheshko, and they are all the transfers we make in season one. Now, yeah, this is what the squad looks like now with the likes of Sheshko, Karabek, Sands, who is our homegrown talent, Vasquez, Vitik, Zabarny, and Alemda. So there we go. How will we do in season number one? Let's find out, shall we? Right, I have simmed too far. And we just beat Granada in the first leg of what I assume is the promotion playoffs for La Liga. So Ulsan Hyundai could be a La Liga club in the first season. It is the promotion playoffs against Granada. How do we do in the Copa Espana first? Copa de Espana even. Of course, the real life Copa del Rey. Uh, we finished third in the league behind Ibar and Las Palmas who got automatic promotion. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Uh, let's see the squad. We've got Alem Dar on a 75. The centre backs both looking really nice. Vasquez at 74. Sans 77. Karabek 74. Sheshko 75. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Who's been getting the goals? It's Benjamin Sheshko. Of course it is. Look at that growth from Sans. A lot of plus threes. 
no outrageous amounts of growth, but solid nevertheless. Uh, let's see how we do against Granada. Will we advance into the finals? Yes or no? Let's see. Of course, Granada have a pretty decent squad. We do advance into the finals, and I will see you there. I'm also going to be completely honest. I completely forgot to send uh, this scout out. Um, so we've got no new youth talent because I simply forgot to check. I got carried away simming. Um... So, that's a big L for us, to be fair. But we're in the final against Tenerife anyway, so... It doesn't matter. It's a one-all draw with Sands scoring our goal. Now in the final, how will... We're not in the final, in the, in the second leg. We need a win. Will we get it? Here we are. Three, two... One, two all. I don't know what that means. I don't have a clue what that means. Are we are we in La Liga? Are we not? This is a bit awkward. No, Tenerife have won. I don't know how. I don't know how that works, but. They won on away goals. Right. Okay. <laughs> they won on away goals both times. Anyway, we stay in the Segunda for another season. Which just gives which just gives these lads some extra time to grow. Uh, our our squad is thin, so we will be getting some replacements. I'm excited to see if we get anyone useful here 19 plays we'll be going down to 16 which means we get two fillers uh, and i believe someone's release clause has been paid i don't know who's though well in the next season we brought in a few transfers lucas gorna scally from gladback and moriba uh, you can see all the details there. Speaks for itself, really. And uh, at the end of season two, uh, there is no playoffs. That could either mean we didn't reach them, which would be a shambles, or we've been automatically promoted. Let's hope it's the second one. And it is. Second place in the league. Avoiding the playoffs on goal difference. Uh, ahead of Elche by two goals. Wow. But there it is. We will be a La Liga Santander first division club next season. We have Alem a 79 overall. Scully 77. Zabarni. Bloody hell, wow. Uh, 79. <laughs> 77 rated Vitic. I didn't expect it to roll that much. Vasquez at a 79. Gorn a 76. Moriba. 77. Ludwigson, don't really care about him, he'll be replaced. Sands is an 83 already. Karabek 79 and Sheshko 81. The team's looking good, no wonder we've been promoted. Yeah, like, come on, you're not gonna not get promoted with this type of squad. Let's see what season three, our first season in the top flight, let's see what it has to bring us. But before we do that, actually, yeah. We need to check the goals. It is Michael Sands. Uh, pardon me. Closely followed by Benjamin Sheshko. There we are. Decent seasons for all of them. And Mariba as well. Our new signing as we enter La Liga in Season 3 is the man from Racing Club, Carlos Alcaraz. Brought in for 17 million. He is a cam who will replace Ludwig Ludwigson. Comes in there 17 million by euros. Why do I always say pounds? Probably because it's the currency I use in real life. Hmm. Anyway, we've brought in Alcaraz. Uh, good signing, basically. Uh, but it's not the only one. The next one is coming in from Juventus. Fabio Muretti. For 27 million euros. Yeah, pretty decent deal. We'll provide some competition for 
Gorna and Moriba. So there we go. Moretti comes in, can play central midfield and Cam. Brought him in. Um, as you can see here, I believe he's 78 rated. Yep. So currently higher rated than both of our current midfielders. Will that change? I don't know. I honestly don't mind because whoever's higher rated should play. We're here at the end of the season now. It is June in 2025. The end of our first season in the top flight. And we finished 7th? Wow. I am amazed. Ulsan Hyundai have finished 7th in their debut campaign in La Liga. Atletico Madrid take home the league, uh, beating Barcelona. But yeah, solid. Uh, let's have a look at the team on paper. We've got Alam Da 80, uh, Vitic 77, Zabani 80, Scali 82, Vasquez at an 84, Miretti at an 80, has actually fell behind Gorna and Mariba. So we'll probably not play. So, yeah. Okay. Sands at an 89, oh my lord. Alcaraz 78, Karabek 82, and Sheshko 87. Sands and Sheshko are just on another level right now. And Vasquez, I guess. From left back. Is it Sheshko? Is it Sands? It is Benjamin Sheshko with 28 goals and 3 assists. Sands with 14 and 6. Standout seasons as well from Mariba and Karabek. Both getting some lovely contributions to the team. And that potential European spot. Now, I just realised I forgot to mention the Cups. How did we do in the Copa Espana? <laughs> we won it. Thank God I came back to check it. Because we've won the Copa de Espana or the Copa del Rey. Uh, well, let's have a look at who won the European competitions. AC Milan take home the big boy. City take home the Europa. And the third string competition is won by Stad Rene. We've brought in a few free agents here, including Tsangai Zuguru, Kerin Chalanoglu, Alex Robertson, uh, the Manchester City original, and a uh, shout out to Park Ju Young, who now has uh, his age higher than his overall 39 years old, 37 rated. Yeah. Anyway, respect to him. But respect also to Lord Rebuild for bringing in Levi Colwell for 13 mil. Pretty decent deal uh, as his value is 15 mil. And the best possible deal was 13.9. We paid 13. Yep, we're better than the best now. Vitic needed replacing. He didn't have any potential left on him to grow. Colwell definitely does. He's a rating lower to start. But I believe that he will skyrocket. And Moretti has been sold for 85.5 mil. We could have sold him for 100 apparently. And yeah. Wow, we have just sold Moretti for big money. Brought him in for 27, sold him for 85. That is big. And Gorna is playing in net for some reason. Uh, I don't know what's happened to Alam Dar. He is still in the club. I did check after. Uh, but look at this. Who's replacing Moretti? It's Pedri. None other than Pedri. Arguably the hottest midfield talent in the world. I would argue it's Jude Bellingham. But we've brought him in for 125 million euros, approximately. Uh, which is an excellent deal. I think there was a bit of a sell on clause on there as well. And his contract was expiring. We could only just afford him. But, um, I think it will be a very good deal. Him. We could also play in Cam ahead of Alcaraz, which is where we're going to put him for now. He will later play centre mid. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a pretty decent Cam as well. So, there we go. Let's see what the addition of Pedri can do for us going in to season number four, our second season in the top flight. It is the end of said season four, our second season in the top flight. And here we are, 
Let's see how we've done. We can see a win over Barcelona, but a loss to Girona. Sounds like something Liverpool would do right now. Speaking of Liverpool, please go and leave a, vol a vote on the poll. Uh, we will be starting a new career mode series very soon. Currently, as uh, I'm speaking now, Fulham are in the lead um, with about 44% of the votes. Um, and you could change that. Uh, we come third in La Liga. We win the Spanish Supercopa. And how do we do in the Copa del Rey? Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, we don't do very well. Yeah, not well at all. Not even reaching the quarters. God. Who wins the Champions League? PSG. Who wins the Europa? Chelsea. Uh, we did get knocked out in the groups. No. No. We were in the Europa League. I thought we got knocked out in the groups of it. No, we made it to round of 16 against Fiorentina. Okay. Uh, we see Alan Dar 82, Scali 84, Colwell 79. Already better than Vitek. And where is Vasquez? Chelanoglu's there for now. Zabani, Gona, Mariba all doing well. Mariba now at 86 as well. Pedri 90, Sans 93. Karabek 85 and Sheshko 91. But the question is, what has happened to Vasquez? And he did have a pretty he pretty hefty release clause. So let's hope someone's paid it. That would be lovely. Uh, and it's the only thing I can think of, so... If someone has really splashed that amount of cash for him... Oh my god, Juventus have. 274.8 million euros on his release clause. And Juve have been so stupid to pay it. And you can see Scully's left on a free transfer. He will be brought straight back. But Vasquez won't. He'll be using that money. Jesus Vasquez, thank you very much. Juventus, thank you very much. Why the hell have you paid so much for him? <laughs> Mate, that's amazing. But Sheshko with 29 goals. Uh, Sanz with 24. Pedro with 13 and 11. Making himself welcome in uh, Ulsan Hyundai. Uh, and as you can see, we have Vasquez's replacement. Coming in, it is a pre-contract deal um, with Udinese for Udogi. Um, so yeah, there we are. Destiny Udogi greets Eason Hazard because that's the pre-contract glitch. Speaking of signings, Speaking of silence, we are using that Vasquez money very well. To bring in Jamal Mujiala, baby. From Bayern Munich, he's here and he's ready to shine. The 90 rated attacking midfielder brought in for 185 million euros. Oh my god. But we can afford it now thanks to Juventus. There we are. Jamal Mujiala. What a signing. To play in midfield there alongside the likes of Alcaraz, Sanz, um, could be uh, Karabek there. We will put Karabek and Scali back into the starting 11 as well. So yeah, there we are. Uh, I believe that uh, we have something else to tell you. And that is that we have signed Sula and Keiki from the free agents list. Masia Sula plays for Juventus in real life. Is an 80 rated, 23 year old now right winger. And Keiki, also a right winger. Not as high rated and high valued though. But still a great free agent transfer nevertheless. Obviously not the standout signings though due to Mugiala. However, can we have a standout season in La Liga? in the Champions League as well. Uh, of course we've not reached the final as we can tell because there would be um, a rectangle with the Champions League logo saying that we are in the Champions League final but there's not. We have won the league though. We have won the La Liga Santander ahead of Real Madrid in second. Copa de España? No. Champions League was won by Manchester City. 
How did we do? Got other group with two Red Bull clubs and Strasbourg. Uh, and lost to Juventus in the round of 16. Okay. So our time in that competition was fairly short. Real Madrid won the yeah, Europa and Young Boys win the conference. We see Alamda 84, uh, Scali 85, Zabani 84, Caldwell 83, Destiny Doggy at 90. Wow. He hasn't got a release clause this time. Pedri at 91, Mariba 88. Doesn't really look 88 rated, but. Yeah. Uh, Sans 96, oh my god. Mujala 91, Karabek 86, and Sheshko at a 92. Who's been getting goals for us though? That's very important. Uh, as we see, like the bench and the reserves. Park Chu Young still going strong. Uh, I believe it's his final season now at the club. So sad that we couldn't make the Champions League final for him and bring him on for the last few minutes, but that would have been a lovely gesture, but not to be. Sheshko with 38 and 4, Mugiala with 20 and 9, Sans 17 and 19, Pedri 12 and 3. Let us see how we do in season 8. We will pass you over to Live Lincoln, and if you've watched this channel before, you should know what that means. If you don't, you'll find out. Here we are at the end of the season. It is May 2028, the end of season 6. We have a warm-up match for the Champions League final against Barcelona, which we have won, beating Real Madrid in the semis as well, as you can see up on Wednesday the 3rd. Yeah. Barcelona in the Champions League final, May 2028. We've just beat them in the league, which should give us some confidence going into it. Pedri will be up against his former club as well. But let's see our full journey. We know we beat um, Real Madrid and we know we've got to the final against Barcelona. 6-3 on our cricket against Real Madrid. Wow. 6-2 on our cricket against Milan. 4-2 uh, on our cricket against uh, Man City in the round of 16. And top in the group ahead of Arsenal and Ajax. Copa de España or Copa del Rey won by Real Madrid beating us in the final Atletico Madrid beat us in the final of the Supercopa but we have won La Liga ok we have won our second La Liga title of the rebuild and I'm, all, I'm already seeing an amazing amazing squad with the likes of Alem Dar 86, Zabani 86 Scali 87 Colwell 87, already surpassing Zabani. Udogi at 91. Pedri 92. Mariba 90, even though his stats don't really look it. Um, Sands in the middle. He is 6 foot 6, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but he is 6 foot 6. So an absolute giant in the centre of the midfield. Karabek on the left. Cam. Um, Mugiala on the right. And a man that's been here since season one, alongside Sands and Zabani and Elmdar, uh, it's Benjamin Sheshko at 93. On the bench, we've got the likes of Keiki, Alcaraz, Sula, Chalanoglu, and Gorna, all who are decent options to bring on from the bench. And now let's see who's got us here with the goals. It is Benjamin Sheshko with 42. Absolutely solid. Amazing performances from him. Sands with 34 and 19. Mariba 17 and 13. Pedri 9 and 4. Karabek 9 and 11. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Hmm. Right, I'll keep my mouth shut. Let's have a look at Barca's team. The final will be played at the Arena Alf Schalke. We've played here in the Champions League final before. I can't exactly tell you which rebuild, but they've got the likes of De Gea, Theo Hernandez, Gvardiol, Sutalo, Guardado, Ndidi, Fabio Carvalho, Giacomo Raspadori, Ferran Torres, Alexander Razak, and Yusuf Demir. It's a solid squad. But I'm not scared one bit. This is an amazing team. Legendary difficulty as always. Here we go. Ulsan Hyundai moved from the oldest club in South Korea to probably the youngest club in Spain 
with under 19s only. They're now not 19 anymore, but they're in a Champions League final. Here we are at the Arena Ralph Schalke for the Champions League final. Ulsan Hyundai or oh, Hyundai take on FC Barcelona. Yeah. Here we go. We are going to call them Ulsan Hyundai as we probably have throughout the most of this video. Not Hyundai as it is in that advert. Anyway. Barcelona have beat Leipzig, PSG and Sporting to get here. I would say we've had the harder path. But in the likes of City, Milan and Real Madrid. But at the end of the day, both teams are here. Both have gone through different paths. But it's Barcelona against us on Hyundai. That's the only thing we need to focus on now. Can we take home the trophy? I think Sanz is the captain, the six foot four giant. We'll see him here. Does he fit on the screen? Only just. Let's get into it. Barcelona get us underway. Here we go. Go Sans, the giant. Can we find Karabek? Yes, we can. Lovely skill from Karabek, but the shot was deflected right into De Gea's arms. And he gets there comfortably. Karabek putting the pressure on. Can Mugiala win it against Carvalho? Not quite. But it's intercepted by Pedri. Here's Mikel Sanz. And now Sheshko. Now Sanz! He didn't even need to jump for it. That's how tall he is. The 6'6 six six El Capitan Mikel Sanz. Homegrown talent. Oh, wow. He's 97 rated. What else do we expect? He was always going to score in the Champions League final. Not the prettiest of goals, but a goal in the Champions League final is a goal we'll definitely take and definitely celebrate. Mikel Sanz makes it 1-0. Almost effortless with that header. And straight past De Gea. That is his, surprisingly, only his third goal in the Champions League this campaign. Raspadori back to Sutalo. Raspadori intercepted by Destiny Doggy. He goes. He's rapid. He's rapid as the left back. And he scores. It's 2-0. That's a surprise. The left back scoring on the right wing. Destiny Udoggy has done it. He's doubled our lead. A poor mistake from Barcelona. And we pounce. Look at the sheer speed displayed there by our new number two. Wow. And then a calm, composed right footed finish past De Gea. It's 2-0. Come on. Lord Rebuild is very, very happy about that one. Cleared by your doggy, but only as far as Carvalho. Here's Guardado. Isaac. Carval Raspadori. No, it was Carvalho. Barcelona's first shot of the game. Barcelona's first shot of the game. Look at that. One shot. One shot. And they score it. Caval Cavalio gets one back. Sanz. Here's Mugiala. Still Jamal Mugiala. Turns. Finds Mariba. Finds Karabek. Skies it. Well, we won't get the third. But we will get the victory and get to lift the trophy a pretty boring Champions League final to be honest but we've got the job done that's all I'm bothered about Ulsan Hyundai they're not even a European club but now they are the European champions so yeah there we are it's done De Gea and Carvalho in despair we don't care why did they rhyme? That rhymes. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Pedri and Sands, the captain, and Sheshko. All celebrating. We have won the Champions League. Rebuild over. 
it's been a long one especially to record which is why i haven't had a video in a few days but just a reminder if you haven't already uh, go and vote on the poll because we will be starting a career mode series very 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 soon this is your last chance but thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i will see you all soon as we lift the champions league trophy now i will mute like i always do thanks again